Hi, Rachel. Hi, Ruby Lane. Hi. Um, uh, it's nighttime here in California, and we have a really, really special treat for you. Um, Jose Cabrera, who's in charge of the cur curatorial department here, which is also known as the beauty department, has a phenomenal collection that he's been working on for about a decade now or more. And it is one of the most spectacular things that you'll ever see. And it started out as a little, I remember when it was a little seed, it was just a little tiny seed mm -hmm. and the flower just grew to this massive proportion of beauty. And early on when he was working for us, he found a drawer that was filled with crash figures and they were a disaster. I mean, they were, they had a beauty, but they were in terrible condition. And he said to me, I think I want to collect these. And of course, I always think big. And I said, well, if you collect these, you've got to do the whole thing. And early on, when he first started putting his Persepi together, David helped him with some, teaching him how to use some hand tools and things like that. And he soon learned to do that all on his own. And the, the baby flew out of the nest and he lo no longer needed us. But his Persepio has now become an icon in Pacific Grove and the Monterey Peninsula at this time of the year. People drive their cars down the street slowly to look at it. We have to look before we go out the door to make sure the coast is clear because you could lose an hour talking to people about it. So I think it's now, this is Jose Cabrera. Say hi, Jose. Hi, Ruby, Ruby Lane. And we're gonna go outside and see it at one of the really most magical times. Jose, thank you for sharing this with us. I remember seeing this uh, for the first time, a very small piece of it at UFDC when you uh, did a special exhibit for Christmas in Anaheim. Yeah, that was the, uh, this uh, piece over here. And, um... So we are outside of the Carmel doll shop right now and all of this is Jose's. It is. And this is the most amazing window you're and ever going to you see. Should, you know, I'm bossy. I think you should start here because this is the greatest story that was ever told. And Jose is one of the most knowledgeable people about Bibl the biblical stories. He's also done curating for the uh, California missions. So he really knows what's going on. But look at the glory of the angels. And I'm going to leave you to him and he'll tell you everything about this so Neapolitan, amazing. California, Mexican, <laughs> international Presepio. So See Jose, first See of all, what are these figures made out of? Uh, they're made of, uh, out of uh, terracotta okay. with a wire frame and then the frame is wrapped in, uh, in hemp and then uh, their clothing is handmade basically with uh, most beautiful lavishing uh, silks and uh, um, uh, gold trims and stuff like that and um, they're just a uh, beautiful work of art handmade, just amazing. handmade, handmade all uh, from top to head such a beautiful work of art if you guys are just tuning in share our video we are outside of the Carmel doll shop here in California for doll week and we are with Jose who this is his Presepio he has been working on this for many years and it is one of the most glorious and wonderful things you're ever gonna see especially around Christmas time Yes, Look at this. Tell us about one of your favorite uh, pieces just in this vignette that we're seeing right here. Is this what we saw in Anaheim in California? Uh, blatant, yes, basically yes, but I added a few more crush figures along the years. And um, answering your question as far as who's my favorite, uh, they're all my favorite. And uh, uh, when I see them um, that they need um, to be repaired, restored, they need clothes, uh, I love to do that because, you know, mm -hmm. I put them back to life. And, um, if they can talk, you know, the stories that they can, could tell us, uh, uh, you know, they have lived so many years and um, uh, they can just tell us what's going, what happened in, uh, along the uh, centuries, for a couple of centuries. Absolutely. So, right? Yeah. So. Absolutely. Just, they tell such a story. Every single one of these figures is doing something. Is doing something. Uh, they represent the um, humanity. Uh, Jesus was born uh, for all of us to forgive our sins and... Um, he decided that everybody was included, uh, even the, the um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it, even the um, people who was not so uh, physically gracious like this lady over here, 
she's not uh, too beautiful, but um, I decided decided to get her because she represents uh, part of um, humanity. You know, she's fabulous. Yeah, she's fabulous. You know, and um, he was born for everybody. It, it doesn't matter Absolutely. what you look physically. You know, he's he loves you and. Um, such a wonderful message and we are outside so if it is kind of hard to hear is bear with us because there are cars driving by and um, many of them are slowing down because when you when you drive past this window and you see what's happening inside it is absolutely breathtaking every single every single place that you look is there's something happening Jose I see inside there's people cooking it's illuminated tell us about the illumination uh, the illumination is just to uh, give it uh, um, like a dream-like um, uh, vignette, you know, and uh, just to make it look more magic mm -hmm. and um, and cozy, you know. And basically, right. it represents daily life, you know, how people live. And uh, and this is the piece de resistance, of course, right here. It looks like a, a Leonardo da Vinci painting. Well, that was basically what um, the king who commissioned the. Um, the creation of all these figures he basically wanted them to look like it was a painting so we see the angels like in the flying mode um, um, and uh, basically that you know he wanted to make sure this looked like a painting are these and, the three wise men yes they are look at that and the page um, the angels are, are fantastic um, the angels they're, they're yeah. a chorus up there mm -hmm. yeah it is is a course. And Jose, Michael briefly touched on how long you've been doing this, but how, how long has it taken you from the first uh, piece that you found to uh, right now? You've been working on this a long time. Yes, it's been 10 years now, and my very first piece, that one he mentioned I saw in a drawer, that's the Black Magi. Oh, uh, look which at is, that. Oh, he's wonderful. I thought he was the most wonderful thing ever in... Um, ever since I was a child, I remember being... Um, passionate about uh, nativities and then when I saw these wonderful figures I thought it, they were the most amazing thing and um, I decided to go on and collect them and uh, create uh, the whole thing uh, as Ma Michael mentioned. Wow you are so passionate and so creative it is amazing to see uh, something like that and and something this incredible to manifest in just a short period of time of 10 years to have something this incredible. Yes. And yeah. now is that guy in the back drunk? Yeah, he might a little bit drunk. <laughs> yeah. I see his bottle of wine right there, and there's yep. a donkey in front of him. Yeah, he's just sleeping in the... Yeah, he's just sleeping it off. In the stable, yeah. And then we have some people right here that are um, what, a flower cook. seller, ready to flower cook. Flower seller, and uh, the little boys, you know, they have a lamb ready to cook, unfortunately. But um, the angel is uh, awakening the uh, shepherds, the sleeping shepherds. He's telling them that there is... a. Uh, something going on up there and they must go and see just wonderful look at that so if you guys are just tuning in we're here with jose he's from the carmel doll shop and we are showing you something that you're unless you were here and if you're watching this video you will never see anything like this ever it is so cool this is the presepio in the window so i'm just gonna pull back so you guys can kind of and we are just looking in one window there is another one so here is this window this is the one on the right from our side absolutely magical and incredible it is nighttime here in pacific grove and we have been excited to share with you this piece so we're going to go now look at the other side jose tell us what's going on over here uh this is the continuation of the first window and basically on this side we have the rich lady ready ready to get in the um in the sedan chair to be taken to see what's going on over there at the uh at the manger and um that's uh, her house, you know. Yeah, it's a wonderful look at represents that. Represents the reach and um, a portrait of her inside the house back there. Now, does the story change? Do you set it up differently from year to year, or, or no, do, you, do you set no. it up the same way? Yeah, the same way, the same way. Yes. And who are these gentlemen out here on the balcony? Uh, they're just uh, related to that lady. They haven't found out found out about the um, what's going on over there, so they haven't realized they need to go um, we have a lady uh, over here and she's about to take water home from the fountain as they used to do it in the uh, back in those days look at that and this is just a gentleman sitting petting his dog and we have some turkeys yes 
And this is interesting right here. You have a, a sign explaining the Neapolitan crash and, and um, everything that kind of goes into it and what's going on. Now, did you build these wonderful backgrounds as well? Yes, I did. Uh, with the help of David, who he's really wonderful at creating um, uh, these little houses. Uh, I, I've learned a lot from him. And um, uh, between him and I, I uh, built the um, the uh, back, backdrop uh, of these two to um, this place. Absolutely magical. Here we are over here. So if we look in, this is this is a full size, wonderful house. Uh, it's illuminated. There is so much going on, uh, hustle and bustle. We can learn so much about life and and just a, a marketplace there's so much movement happening here yeah this basically is a, a tavern and in, in which it was basically kind of a restaurant and hotel and all that kind of stuff and we got people guests having dinner look at that what is one of your favorite things uh, or something that you would like to share with the group that that you have learned through this process of discovery of, of putting all of this together um, well, basically, it's um, uh, restoring all these figures. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing. Um, yeah, that's, you, that's. I'm sure the, you learned a lot about restoring to have to do all of this. Yes. Did yes. you have to? Did you research as far as ethnicities and things and cultures to put something like this together? Um, well, I read on magazines and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. look at pictures and paintings, of, right. uh, and about yeah. um, the history of the uh, Neapolitan nativities. And um, I'm still on, on that learning uh, pace, so... Um, we never quit learning, we, there's no, so much. No, you never do, no. We're gonna pull back here again so you, everyone can see the, the full display. We are outside, so there are cars coming and going, but look at this. This is the outside of the Carmel doll shop, and we are with Jose Cabrera, who, this is his. And he created it, and he has it on display, and it is one of the most wonderful things that you're ever going to see. We are so happy to be bringing it to you. Look at that. And each one of these crush figures in its own right is a very rare doll. Yes, they are. Because uh, uh, at that time, from uh, between 1765 and 1850, they were made by hand. Um, and you would never run into another figure that looks alike. So they're all basically unique mm -hmm. and handmade. Yes. One of a kind handmade. One of a kind handmade. Look at yes. that. Is there a figure that you are that you're on the hunt for that you have maybe never found, or are you constantly surprised at the the variety of different figures? Uh, I'm surprised at the variety of uh, different figures, and. Um, Yes, at times I, I think of uh, some uh, characters that I like to have, but um, uh, I just buy them as they come along. Mm -hmm. Because Michael and David, uh, when they do the doll shows around the U.S., um, they find them and I buy them from them. Yeah, they keep a lookout for they, you, which yes. is nice. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite kind of character? I, no, I don't, no. Yeah. Like I said, we do not either. We love them all. Yeah, they're all wonderful. Yes. Just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It is such a it is such a, a path of discovery when we see these kind of things and these things put together and just learning so much about everything, religion and, and humanity and cultures and craftsmanship and art. It, it, it is all put together in this amazing Persepia. So, Jose, thank you so much for Absolutely. sharing this with us. Absolutely. My pleasure. Any, anytime. Yes, and if anyone wants to come see it, they can come. Uh, what is the address of this? Uh, the address here is uh, 213 Forest Avenue in Pacific Grove, California. In, exactly, and if, you, and if you get anywhere close, you're going to know you're here because this is like a beacon of light shining out. It is so incredible. So, Jose, thank you again. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Absolutely.